What is up my good people? The name is Pixel Love and holy hell has it been a while. I don't remember when was the last time I actually <laughs> uploaded. But I do know it's probably been about a month uh, since I just mysteriously left. Everyone's working down below. They're digging up clay to make a clay man out of. When we zap clay man low on energy here, they start moving again. These machines almost seem to invite you to use them, but you can't touch them. People can't touch them or else they'll get zapped something fierce. I've never touched them, of course, but I really want to. Ignore the urges. Ignore the urges, Lou. Yeah, uh, don't zap yourself, please. But yes, I am finally, once again, back in the recording booth. I remember how I said in the last episode I was back in the recording booth after two weeks, and then before you know it, one month has passed, and I haven't done anything at all. Oh, hey there, Lucas. Did you come see me? Oh, you didn't? Uh, I see. Uh, how's Flint? Same as always? I see. Yeah, I'm sorry, my G. I'm just here to uh, get Clayman. The new guy with the dark fur is so annoying. What? <laughs> it's like, just shut up and work, will you? What do you mean? It's nice to exercise once in a while. What do you mean he's annoying? He's boomy! We even have a pig here who only oinks. But yes, my apologies for my sudden absence all of a sudden. To any one of you guys who actually follow and listen to the podcast, I hope you guys have at least been able to... You know, enjoy that. You know, ignoring the fact that I've also been a little late uploading those videos as well. Um, okay. I thought that was just going to lead down in a cave. Uh, but anyways, I believe it should be... I believe I should explain why. Why I haven't been here at all. Hey, part-timer. I use this lift to send low-energy claimant up to the ground floor. Just bring one here and talk to me. Um, the answer is just basically simple. It's just that I just haven't had the creativity to get on here, be able to record and make some commentary and then just play the game. Yeah, it's, uh, that is still not natural. Yeah, I, I, I get that in theory it should sound a lot more easier, but like if you don't have the motivation to do it, let alone the creativity, like, sit down and, like, try to do some edits. Even if it's just, like, weird, just just little edit, tiny edits that, I, like, I do. If you can't even do that, then, like, there's really no point in, like, trying to, like, force yourself into this. And that's the thing. It's just that I did just didn't want to feel myself like I was forcing myself into this. Because I did mention before, you know, I, w I wouldn't mind having this as a job, but in order for me to... You know, keep continuing with all this. I first need to enjoy doing it. If I'm not enjoying it at the time being, then why would I keep doing it? God damn, these guys. But, yeah, it's just really been a lack of creativity. And I, it's even happened to me on the podcast, you know? I, there was one time where I just didn't upload the, <laughs> I just didn't upload the podcast because uh, creativity. I just couldn't sit down and edit. And to be completely honest with you, it's not like the essays, uh, it's not like the essays and work that I had for college was helping either. No, that generally impeded my progress and whatnot. Just, it, it was just quite a bit. Oh, lord. Yeah, come with me, my G. Uh, okay, how do I do this? Oh, this is, that's how I'm supposed to do it. You go over here. Okay. This is gonna be a little difficult, but Oh, I can't even run. Cool. But yeah, the uh college hasn't I wouldn't say it hasn't been like horrible or anything like that because I am doing pretty well and whatnot. It's just that when you're like me who's trying to keep this thing up, you know, having to do like an essay or like a project like every two weeks or whatnot like it's not 
like I do I do sound pretty lazy not gonna lie but it just doesn't sound appealing when you're also working on these things as well but you know I try my best oh brought one already have you okay hold on a sec Oh, come on, G. What did the claimant do to you? Alright, so I'm supposed to bring it out there. Alright, come on, my G. Okay, I thought you said something new for a minute, Boney. Alright, tired claimant. Don't worry. We will get you up and running. Oh, good work, Lucas. Okay. Is that supposed to work? Yes, it worked. Yes, sir. We finally got the claim in. There should be some more. Just bring them on up here. Only two more to go. Yeah, but it was so far away, actually. Shoot. Come on now. Hold up. What is he doing right here? Alright, my G, you get over here. Anyways, so what have I been doing within the last month that I haven't been on? Well, I've just kind of been enjoying life here and there. I've just been hanging out with friends and whatnot. Um, been doing, obviously, I've been doing the podcast. And I've also just been playing some games, mostly Overwatch 2. <laughs> All right, I'll get the next one. Yeah, it it wasn't because of anything major or anything like that. I was just gone. It was just lack of creativity, or lack of a better term, I guess. I guess if it makes you guys feel any better, I guess I haven't been playing Mother Three either. And hopefully, now that I ho I hope I can stay on a consistent schedule now. There, I say that, and I'll be gone for another two weeks just before you know it. Um. But hopefully, I'll be able. I'm gonna be able to upload and just make videos on Mother Three again because I do kind of want to finish this by year's end. I do have other games that I have in mind, and I don't want to. As much as I, as much as I really like the Mother games, I don't think it would be good for me to bring this on into the New Year's. So you know, just get it done. But of course, I'm still gonna enjoy the game. I'm still gonna show you guys what's happening around here you know what maybe I shouldn't have said that because then I'm just gonna be as sad as when I finish Earthbound where I was like damn I can't believe I finished it this early well, I don't even know if you want to call it early but you get the idea like these games are pretty fun to play not gonna lie and you only play them once well you only get to experience them once you can play them multiple times but the experience is one in a lifetime all right, we finally got this last guy over here. That's enough for today. Don't get your, don't forget to get your pay from Mr. Brown. He's the guy at the entrance. I will take it. You finish your part-time job. Let's go. All right, I guess I should get Boney now. Boney. All right, he does. He doesn't want to go back. All right, are you the guy? Are you Mr. Brown? Oh, good job today. Here's your reward for a hard day of work. Yes, sir, I got a ticket. And here's your pay for today. 200 DP, I'll take it. Work every day and you can make even more money. Work up a good sweat as you strive for your dreams. You're still young after all. It's gotten really late. Go relax at Club Tittaboo and have a good time. Good job today. Yes, sir. That's what I like to see. And it's already night as well. Biff sleeping on the job, I see. Ah! Oh, crap. Oh, 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 oh. I fell asleep. I guess that's what they call sleep standing. Thanks for waking me up. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if this has only happened to me, but has anyone actually ever, like, uh, ended up like sleeping 
while standing. Because funny story, like back in high school, uh, we would have we would have to have like monthly masses, monthly mass, and so every and so there, were, I believe it was my freshman year, like the first time that I tr that, well not the first time, but just a few times when we were at mass, and we were just standing up, I would just be so goddamn tired, and I would actually end up falling asleep. Even when we were standing up, like, I almost fell down a few couple of times because I was just that knocked out. Granted, I, granted, back in high school, I must have been awake by, like, six? Yeah, I must have been awake by six. And we had, six a.m., and we had mass at around, like, three p.m. And after a hard day of classes, like, I, I believe I deserve to fucking sleep. Anyways... What are these guys? Pigtunia? That does not sound great. Uh... Don't... Attack? Holy shit! Holy shit! I think... <laughs> I think this is a bad idea! Oh... Uh, God damn it, and, and I was st I'm still not good at my combos. You're kidding me! This- Oh my god! You're kidding me! You're actually kidding me! Oh... Uh, Alright. I'm using this. I'm almost dead. How is this thing not dead? How? Bony literally died because you would not die! Finally. Now then. 364 uh, XP and Boney got none of that. Now, how do I how do I fix up my boy? All right, I'm going to have to find out a way to get to get Boney to become conscious again cuz ain't no way am I going to bring him Ain't no way am I going to bring him all the way to Club Tinibu like this. And also, I think it would be good for me to also find some HP for Lucas. So, I will be right back. Mamma mia! Would you believe it? I totally didn't die and just respawn in this hot spring right here. Oh, that's right. There is a hot springs over here. Want an egg? Okay. Egg. Yolks and white. Fresh egg! Wait a minute, does that mean that it's gonna like spoil? Does that mean it's gonna spoil soon? Egg rich with nutrients, 80 HP. Okay, there's the hot springs. There's a mole. Fuck! I didn't mean to do that! What are you doing here? An Austro elephant? What is up with these enemies? Okay, note to self. It may not be in my best interest to fight these guys at all. Like, my lord, these guys are hella tough. Ain't no way you're getting over. Where the, wait a minute, where the hell am I? Where am I? Shoo, shoo, scram. Get out of here, you kid and dog. Where the hell am I? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I'm all the way over there. Hot springs. Well, I'm all the way on the west side. Oh, god damn. <gasps> no, not a big tunia again. Go away. Move it. Move it, bucko. Okay, I need to go back to the center. And I need to make sure that I don't get caught. Move away! Get out of the way! Whatever, I'll, I'll, t I'll take this mole again. Alright, mole. Eat shit! Ow. There we go. Alright, Club to the Boost should be up ahead. Would you look at that? This ropeway leads to Club to the Boost. Do you want to ride it up? 
Yes, sir. I'll show you my ticket. Yes, everything is in order here. Please get on. Thank you very much, my good man, my good sir, my G. Ooh la la. Why do we need to go all the way up here, though? Better yet, why is it all the way up there, though? This, rope lead, this ropeway leads to the factory? No. You have a chance to look through the binoculars there. I have not. 1DP? <laughs> you didn't even have 1DP, so you weren't able to look. Dog, come on! Okay. Cold present, cold present. There are fireworks inside. Ah. Oh, that reminds me. I actually gained uh, a new ability. I gained life of beta uh, while I was trying to look for some health. I want to withdraw 1DP. Por favor. Now then. What do we have here? Interesting, interesting. I'm not moving this at all whatsoever. What the hell is that giant yellow thing? What, was that it? Even Bony was disappointed. You're kidding me. I spent my hard earned DP on that. What the hell? All right, what are you guys? An elephant statue. Well, yeah, no shit. I can tell it's an elephant statue. Whoa. Uh. Hello, comrades. Or no, 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 no. I got, I got, I got, I got. Felicitations, malefactors. <laughs> I forgot the rest. Oh well. Whoa there. Haven't seen you around here before. We don't allow pets inside. Oh, come on! Are you really going to deny Boney? Sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Come on, Boney! Come back some other time. Can we not just... Can we not just... Aww, Lucas! Boney! <laughs> Aww... And we just bust into- oh. <laughs> Whoa! Is that the guy who had a dog with him just a minute ago? Ain't no dog here, buddy. <laughs> and some dog-like dude. No, there's something fishy about this. Where did that dog from earlier go? And where did this dog-like dude come from? Uh, dude, look, look. He's not a dog. He does got that dog in him, but he's not a dog. You gotta trust me on that. And on top of that, you smell underage! <sighs> you smell like an underage kid and a dog! Now that you mention it, it is weird! No suspicious people allowed. That's our rule here. Scram! Get lost, you kid-like guy and you dog-like dude. Nah, I say we'll pulverize them right here. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh my. If it isn't the underage smelling poo and the dog smelling woof. Whoa now. Hold on there, lady. Underage smelling poo. Are you referring to... The king himself, Pooh, from Earthbound. I take it you two have been mistaken for an underage kid and a dog yet again. <laughs> Awkward. What? You know these dudes, Violet? I don't know. I still say there's something not right about these guys. Especially this dog-like dude here. Hey, dude, you're just failing the vibe check here. We're just vibing, all right? Like I said before, he's not a dog, but he does got that dog in him. He's like Herschel Walker, if you think about it. Shake. Don't look away from me. 
Shake! Oh, he's trying to shake his hand. See? You don't know how to shake. <laughs> yes, I do know how to shake, but... Oh, wait, no, don't tell me we heard Bony whimper. This guy is definitely dog-like, but he seems he isn't a dog. But, dude, if by chance you are a dog, you'd be one of the best dogs to ever shake. <laughs> Wonderful. Come in, have lots of fun, and forget about all your worries. Well, thank you, Violet. I appreciate it. But look at my boy Bodie over here! He's got that dog in <laughs> Hey, dude. Have fun. Okay. Didn't need, didn't need you to, like, wait five seconds to tell me that. Oof, that was scary. You're telling me, Bony. Well, hello, ladies. What is up? Shh. Listen, but don't change the expression on your face. I know I'm dressed in this crappy girly outfit, but it's me, Kumatora. We met at the Sunshine Forest, remember? I'll explain everything later. Put on a smile, will you? Okay, good. Okay, the next DCMC song is about to begin. Please go on in and find some empty seats. <laughs> God damn, Kumotora's been here this whole time? We don't have restrooms for dogs here. Oh, you're not a dog? My apologies. <laughs> now, how dare you say that mama, bo, mama, about my mama, ah, fuck, about my boy Boney over here. Look at him, he's vibing out. Here we are. Big City Sodas on sale now at Club Titabu. You should really try one at least once. I mean, some of these things seem kind of mid, not gonna lie. There's a slot for money here. Insert 10 DP. Yes, sir. You don't have enough money. God damn it. Alright, where is the nearest frog? Alright, the better question is, which is the restroom for the men and which is the restroom for the boys? I mean, girls. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to assume red is for women and blue is for boys. Or men. Men! Yes, sir. We're men now. Are you a lady? There's someone in here. Okay. Was wor was worth a shot. This is the ladies' room, you know. Hey, but I was right. Red room was for the ladies. Yes, sir. I will save my game. <laughs> So that's where the frog is. But he's not gonna give me anything for DP. Come on now. Tonda Gossa. That's the greeting. You know, THE greeting. Tonda Gossa. You should at least learn the DCMC greeting, you know. Well, I'm sorry, buddy, but I'm new here. Hey, uh, how's it going? I got some homemade DCMC merchandise for you right here. If it breaks or rips, I'll stay up all night to fix it. Nah, just kidding. I kid a lot. But never mind that. Buy some of these buy some of these here DCMC goods. I don't I, I, I don't have anything. Pamphlet, shirt, hat, ring, pickled vegetable plate. Damn it! Where's the frog that I can get DP from? All the waitresses here giggle at the end of everything they say. I really wish they get rid of that rule though. It's so stupid. Oppression at its finest, I see. Keep out with this staff only. Alright. I need to get this DP real quickly. So hopefully I'm able to get back here again. So for the love of God, please don't tell me that I can't leave. Okay, I'm easily able to get back in here. Give me a moment. <laughs> my boy Boney got that dog in him. Anyways, let me go get my DP. Alright, now that I have everything that I needed to get, I got some DCMC shirt, the hat, the ring, and I also got this hat for my boy, Boney. Let's see what we have over here. Oh shit, I didn't mean to talk to you again, Kumatora. But yes, let me go in, let me go in. Let me go in! Okay, finally. Alright, what do we have here? 
Whoa, now. Who, who's Big Huncho over there? <laughs> yes, yes, a lot of whistling. E, I love you, Magic. Well, what's happening here? OJ? Zimmers? Lucky? Can I just move? Can I see what's going on around here? Wow, you're really late. The DCMC concert's already over. Fuck. Everyone's just waiting for the encore now. God damn it. Tessie, what are you doing here? Lucky, the bass player, definitely looks a lot like Duster. But I don't know. There's something different about him. I can't quite put my finger on it. Alright. Hey, what's good, macho man? Yeah? What do you want? You smell like a dog. Like a dog and a kid. This ain't no place for dog smelling kids to come. Alright, jeez. Ew, you have such a hairy face. Don't say that about my boy Boney. He, he's got that dog in him, you know? Stay away from here, you have some nerve. Ah, people. The rich snobs. I've been wondering about it for a while now, but you know Lucky, the bass player? That totally has to be a wig. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it is. See that scary looking guy over there? I thought for sure he was our head honcho. But apparently, there are people way, way higher up on the ladder than him. Oh, would you look at that? There's an army of these pork trooper motherfuckers. Alright, well, where's Lucky? Where's the encore? Where is it? Hello? Woof. The encore won't start if we keep walking around like this. Let's go sit down, okay? Well, okay, you could have told me that earlier. Walking like this is exhausting. <laughs> is that Thomas? What would you like to drink, sir? Uh, give my boy a bowl of water, please. You want... Water? <laughs> oh, hey there, Lucas! I was wondering who in the world would order water in a place like this? I mean, come on! Water? <laughs> I gotta agree with my boy Thomas here. Hey, Violet, baby! One fizzy soda for this here boy, and a big city cola for his dog-like friend. I don't think Boney can drink soda. Uh, just give him the water, please. It's on me. The great Thomas, of course. Certainly, sir. One fizzy soda instead of water, and one big city cola coming right up. Can Boney drink soda? Wow, never thought I'd see you here, Lucas. Oh, would you look at that? That was quick. Here you are, gentlemen. Shh, listen, but don't change the expression on your face. There's a lot I need to talk to you about after the DCMC concert's over. After it's over, don't leave. Hang out in the lobby. I'll be there to get you. All right, see you later. Water? Hello? Boney, please? You idiot! Don't change your expression. Well, enjoy yourselves. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't think Boney can drink this. Hey, Lucas! What were you and Violet talking about? I never knew you were such a ladies' man. Well, I mean, I am the son of Flint, so I have to get all the bitches, you know? Ooh, it's starting! They all look like Duster. <laughs> what do you mean? Tandagasa, are you enjoying the show? Oh my pork! Looks like our time is up, sad to say. So here's one last song for you. Here's King Peace theme. Hit it! Alright, what do we have here? I'm telling you, I don't know why, but they all look like Duster. Is this gonna be one of those other, um, 
what should I call it, Runaway 5 kind of things? Because if so, I should probably shut the fuck up. But oh well, I already ruined it. Yes sir, DCMC! You know, I just realized, this motif kind of sounds a lot like the Pork Guys themes from earlier. I mean, it is a King P theme, so who's King P? Woof! My ears are ringing! And we should probably get the hell out of here right now. Wasn't that DCMC show just great? It was so full of soul. How about DCMC Pamplin as a souvenir of your visit to Club Titaboo? Uh, sure, I'll take it. You're real popular with diehard fans. You just scored yourself some nice swag. Hehe. <laughs> Thank you, I didn't have to pay for this at all. If I remember correctly, I think it's even worse than the other one. It is! Why would I want to use it? Alright, Thomas, what'd you think? Hey, Lucas! What were you? Oh. <laughs> I mean, you just met her for the first time, right? Man, you're good. So, I guess that's it. No reason for me to talk with these guys again. Mm, I'm just mm, getting the hell out of here. Oh, Kumatora. Move, bozo! My G, I'm gonna need you to mo move! <laughs> Let me talk with her, goddammit! Tom DeGrasse, blah, 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 get out of the way! Get out of the way! <laughs> Thank you. This way, this way. Oh, ho! Would you look at that? Come on, hurry it up, this way. Interesting, interesting. But what about this way? That's what I want to know. I don't want to know anymore. That looks very scary. There are enemies there. And I don't want to be beaten to a pulp again. Oh, but there's still enemies here. God damn it! <laughs> okay, so I ended up coming down here. And would you look at that? There are two presents. A made you look. And a saltwater gun. What do both of those things do? I'm going to assume that the made you look is for shits and giggles, isn't it? Tricks an enemy into turning around. Maybe not, maybe not. Saltwater gun. The saltwater causes metal to rust, damages mechanical enemies. But they're not really weapons that I could equip now, is are they? God damn it. Anyways, what is Kumatora cooking up over here? Whoa! That secret passage is handy, but I always get covered in mud every time I use it. Not to mention that sticky junk from all those slugs. I'm gonna hop in the shower real quick, so just relax here. Okay. Some way or another, I wound up in this fancy room. Anyways, go shower, you two. There's even a hot spring in there, if that's more of your thing. We can talk afterwards. Yes, sir, I'll take it. After showering, the three converse at great length, almost as if it almost as if filling in the three-year gap that had separated them. They discussed the rescued monkey, 
to discuss the hummingbird egg from Osohei Castle and how it went missing. They discussed the fact that one of the DCMC band members appears to be an amnesic duster. And they discussed the mysterious army that had radically transformed Tasmeli Village. The radical liberal pork army. <laughs> As if assembling the jumbled pieces of what a jigsaw puzzle, they told each other what they knew to put to, what they knew to put their thoughts together. The coming battle will not be easy. This, more than anything, they knew all too well. I want to be stronger. It was at around this time that Lucas truly began to have such feelings. Yes, sir. My boy Lucas wants to sauce the fuck up, and I am all for it. We need. Some more XP. Is that the end of the chapter? No, it is not. And that's how I finally managed to stick myself in here. But we'll never find out what happened to the hummingbird egg until Duster regains his memory. At this rate, there's no telling when the pigs will get their hands on it. Lucas, see Duster and try talking to him. Maybe he'll remember something if he sees you two. There are guards outside. They're not exactly bad guys, but I don't want but I don't want to risk making things more complicated. <laughs> okay, convenient ladder. Climb up this ladder and go through the attic. You can get to Duster's room from there. It's not the most direct way of getting there, but you're less likely to get caught. I'll get all the DCMC members together. I'll need to explain the situation to them too. See you in a little bit. Okay. Interesting, interesting. The shower is so strong that it actually hurts. Have you, ever, have you guys ever had one of those showers before? Because I remember there used to be a shower that in my uncle's house. That was just like, the pressure was so fucking like high. No matter how far you turned up the knob, like it will always be on full blast. I don't think it's a good idea for me to go out here. I am going to go up here. Let's see here. You said there was. A... You said Duster's room was somewhere around here, right? Squeak, squeak. Mice are greedy and love to collect things. But would you like to buy some of mine? Well, what do you have, my G? All right. So this mouse actually had the better stick, which is actually. A better stick than what I already had, so I will take that. So which one is Duster's room? That's what I wanna know. Uh there's a big scary insect over there. What about over here? There's this dude. Friendly item deposit guy. I don't have any I mean I do have a lot of things I could deposit or whatnot, but I'd rather not. Alright, but we got a map here. Attic guide. I'll take it. I'm going to... Okay, so from the looks of it, it looks like the blue path is the path that I need to take. Alright, what do we got over here? Some bug spray. I'll take it. Alright, open present. Magic tart. Some good PSI power we got over here. And there's more enemies. God damn it! Present. Antidote. I'll take it. God damn it, or there's so many arachnids around here! What the hell? Alright, what is the sweet guitar we got over here? Wait a minute. A gently weeping guitar. I don't think I was supposed to do that. Shoot. Oh, but that was, um, that was a big combo over there. Shoot! Uh, die? Thank you very much. Oh, it was really for nothing. You're kidding me. You're joking me. It was barely for anything. And what do we have here? Sprinting bomb. More bombs. Can never go wrong with more bombs. And what do we have over here? Bag of big city fries. Yes, sir. We are almost there. Would you look at that? <laughs> look at all these mice over here. Squeak, squeak. Oi, Alfie. It's been donkeys, China. Want to rub it? <laughs> no clue what the hell I just read. We've been waiting a bloody long, airy lime all pal. 
Yeah, he, he, his English just breaks down right away. Eh? Is that true, Alfie? That's... <laughs> I don't know what accent you're trying to be. New York, something like that? Hey, nut bread, I'll take it. Why don't you show your jam jam anymore? It just sounds slurred. It just looks slurred. Alright, what do we have over here? Some nice stuff. You ate it right there. Hey, thank you. I actually appreciate that. Some rice stuff. Uh, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Some nice rice stuff. Fuck. I think I was only supposed to eat one of them. God damn it, bro. <laughs> no, I'm running low on health items. Well, on the bright side, I'm at least revitalized. That's for sure. Boney, do you like cheese? Oh, Boney isn't too fond of cheese. No. That could have been 60 HP for Lucas right there. Aww. Alright, what about here? What do we have here now? It's a magic gelatin. More magic stuff. I... Uh, my G, are you good? As you can plainly see, I am a wooden base. I'm st I'm still in my prime. But ever since the base below showed up, I've been left to rot in this moldy smelling attic. I'm filled with so much frustration. I'm gonna turn this frustration into violence and take my stress out on you guys. You're gonna be bawling your eyes out. Wow. Dick move, buddy. Actual dick move. All right, you know what? You're getting it. You're getting it. Thunderbomb! Oh shit. That Thunderbomb did not do shit at all. Uh. Please don't hit me too hard. Please don't hit Boney too hard. Fuck. Uh, more PK love. Boney, I think you should probably eat one of your doggy biscuits right now. Last thing I want you to do is passing out. And they're just gonna keep going. They're just gonna keep going. They're just gonna keep going. Eat PK love! Yes, sir! Alright, now we only have this asshole to deal with. Uh, what do we have here? What do we have here? We don't really have much that I can use. Uh, I don't think I need to use offense up or anything like that. Bony, eat your doggy bit. Fuck. That was a huge combo though! That was a huge combo! Shit! I didn't want that to happen. Uh, 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 uh. Fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, quick, Boney. Have some fries. Shoot. Uh, please don't hit me too hard. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I am very upset that I ended up giving that goddamn doggy biscuit to Lucas instead of Boney! And Lucas is asleep. Shit. 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 Oh. Oh. Eye drops, flea platter, spreading bomb. Spreading bomb! Eat shit! Oh, he's still gonna try hypnosis on. Oh, I thought he was gonna do it on Boney again. God damn it! Thunderbomb! Wait a minute, why did I use that? It's shit on him! God damn it. Uh. One of these guys is gonna have to do it. Alright. I have faith in my boy Boney. He's gonna be able to guard. Please don't do it on Lucas. Whatever. You know what? As long <laughs> as long as he's not dead, I'll take it. No, no, no! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Give it! Give it a bunny! Give it a bunny! Give it a bunny! Okay, 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 okay. That's what matters. Dude! Fuck off! Finally! 
I used all my goddamn items on the stupid jealous base. He can go to hell. 1,352 points. God, Boney was actually about to die right then and there. Yeah, you know what? Screw you. I don't give a shit if you're prime anymore. There's a hole here. It looks like you could jump down from it. Try jumping. Uh, not now. Actually, yeah, never mind. Yes, let me jump down. Up! Oh! Look at that. Hey, everyone! What took you so long? Anyways, I just finished explaining everything to the band members. Okay. Alright, what's going on, my G? Don Nagasa? So you're the one trying to run off with Lucky. Uh, no? We're discussing things right now. I can see that, my G. Phew. Oh man, what to do? Oh man. This is the new wooden base. Tondagasa. Who are you? He's the one I was talking about just now, Duster. You two know each other. Duster? It's true that I don't even remember my real name. I've lived my life as Lucky for years now. Okay, let me guess. We're gonna we're going to rip the afro off, are we? All right, Lucky. I hate to ask, but could you tell him everything you remember too? Hey. Yeah. All right. I can definitely tell that something very important is taking place here. Hey, Lucky. I guess Duster. I had absolutely no memory whatsoever from before I climbed the club to the boom. I had no idea who I was, where I came from, or where I was going. But for some reason, I was clutching a strange egg with great care. I don't know where I was going, yet I continued to walk desperately. All I knew was that the egg was really important for some reason. I knew I, abso I absolutely had to keep it safe, so I looked for a place to hide it. And then... After walking, and walking, I buried the egg inside a big dirt clod in a valley where I knew no one would ever find it. I still know where it is. I haven't forgotten. You go up a cliff near a giant waterfall and... Cliff near a giant waterfall, you say? Unknown Valley! Would you look at that? It's still unknown to me! <laughs> That's it, Duster. The egg we all worked hard so the egg we all worked so hard to protect is there. Let's go there right now. But am I really Duster? If I am this Duster person, then that means I'll have to leave the band, right? Duster or Lucky, one of them will cease to exist after today. Right? If it turns out I'm Duster. What happens to the DCMC? If I continue to live as Lucky, then what was that egg thing all about? What should I do? I just can't decide. I can't decide whether you should live or die. Actually, no. Of course you can't. Vi uh, Violet or Kumatora, whatever, just slap the shit out of him. All you can do is ask Destiny. Yeah. If Destiny decides it, I'll say goodbye to you with a smile on my face. I'm guessing that's the only guy who doesn't really like it. Destiny, huh? Of course it's the guy who's called OJ. Yeah. Let's ask Destiny. We have a way. The same thing we've always done whenever we weren't sure of what to do. Stone cheek clippers, huh? Okay. Yep. This Lucas fellow will play stone sheet clippers with us. If he beats all five of us in a row, you'll go. But if he loses even once, you'll stay in DCMC and keep on playing the bass. How's that sound? Five in a row, huh? I'm cool with that. You there. You're okay with that, right? Okay, well, we're ready to begin when you are. You can start with any one of us. Uh, Kumatara? I want to have faith in this. Am I going to have to fight these guys? Please don't tell me I need to fight them. Because I am low on moolah right here. I am low on everything. Look at this. 
Right, I'll start with you. Whenever me, Magic, and Bakio play Stone Sheet Clippers, we'll always end in a tie. Let me be the last one to go. After all, I am the band leader. Alright, Bucko, I'll start with you. I always wind up trying I always wind up tying whenever I play Stone Sheet Clippers with Shimmy. Alright, let's do this thing. Okay, let's do it. Stone Sheet Clippers! Fuck. The tie, huh? Again. Stone Sheet Clippers! <laughs> Gah! I won't complain, you win. Stone Sheet Clippers, huh? That's rock, paper, scissors. Shimmy always, almost always starts with stone. It's up to you, it's up to you to believe that or not, though. You ready to go? Stone Sheet Clippers! Okay, so if he says that all three of them end in the tie, then that means they all pick stone, right? Fuck! Come on now, Destiny is riding on this. Let's go at the same time. Stone Sheet Clippers! <laughs> Eat shit, Bakio. Luck is with you. For the most part, everyone always does a specific first move when playing this game. That explains why Bakio loses to magic. You ready to go? So if Bakio is scissors, clippers, and the other guy, I already forgot his name, magic, I believe, he's rock, then that means this guy has to be scissors. Right? Fuck. I went too late. Sorry, let's do a do-over. Stodgy clippers! I lose. I lose with pizzazz. Okay, I guess these guys are just throwing. Army, Magic, and Bakio place, and we always end in a tie. Let me be the last one. Who am I, am I supposed to go against him? I seem to recall that whenever me, Magic, and our band leader played Stone Sheet Clippers, we always wound up in a tie. Ready to go? Alright, I'm going against... Is it best if I win? No, I'll leave that up to Destiny. I'm assuming he's going to go Rock as well. Fuck. Sorry, do over. <laughs> Looks like I lose. I guess Destiny's telling me to lose. Okay, this has to be, this has to be the one guy who uses scissors, right? I want to trust in Destiny. If it's my destiny to go there, I'm sure I'll win. And if it's not my destiny, he'll lose and I'll stay here. Yada, yada, yada. It's as simple as that. Okay then, Lucas, do clippers. I'm going to do sheet. Tan de gasa. Here we go. Stone sheet clippers. I see. So this is destiny. I guess Lucky probably is this duster guy after all. Go. Don't worry about anything else at all. I think Duster hid the egg in Unknown Valley, which means I have no reason to stay here anymore either. Alright, time to get out of these girl clothes. Thanks for everything, guys. Take care now. Out of my way, damn it! Holy shit! Lucky. No, Duster, I guess. You were the greatest bass player ever. I'm gonna miss you, man. Bro hug, bro hug. Oh, no bro hug, I guess. I hope we meet again someday. That's right, you need to shave off that hair, Jesus. I'm sure we will. So what, is this like the Mother 3 version of like Runaway 5? Don't go forgetting the time you spent with us now, you dig? Alright, let everyone say their goodbyes. Lucky. Take care, my G. Alright, Duster! I still don't remember anything, but I'll come with you guys anyway. Alright, let's go. Yes, sir. Damn well, Dust. You're damn right, Duster joined my party. Oh, he doesn't have a saffron on there anymore. Alright. Let's -a go. <laughs> I took care of the bodyguards. 
Let's go! All right, we got the squad up in here. I unlock the door and let's get out of here now, shall we? See ya, everybody. What was wrong? What is it? There's someone on the stage. Aww. <laughs> Bon voyage, amigo. Oh, guy in the sky, please grant a gift to our friend who's about to set out. How much time we've wasted laughing together. But guy in the sky, oh, how we love that wasted time and those helpless smiles. Bon voyage. Bon voyage, amigo. Now then, when was the last time I touched this thing? Oh, god damn it! <laughs> 